Hello Franco. I'm a third year cognitive science major and I've done the student leadership development program and as a freshman. I was going through Facebook, just checking my social media, and then I saw an ad for this like CLL, and I was reading it because I first thought it was a scam, but it, it wasn't a scam. Like I, I went in depth with it, and I was like, oh, there's an actual program on campus, the Student Leadership Development Program. Um, I was reading like the highlights. It had like, oh, develop leadership. You get a certificate, and you get units. I just wanted to get out of my comfort zone because I was actually really quiet and shy. But I was like, you know what? No, let's just do it. Let's do it. And I was like, you know, maybe this is something that can like flip that. I was just in it thinking that it'll just make me more like an extroverted person until I started actually doing the classes and then my whole thought process changed as to why I wanted to continue. It made me realize certain things about what it is to have self-control within yourself, especially for like conflict management. How can you try to place yourself in people's like shoes or perspectives so that when it comes to group development or like team building, like you know how to work with people in general. And also most importantly, how can you like work with yourself because to be honest we're like our biggest enemy sometimes i had problems with how to cope with my emotions of like anger or sadness frustration i remember alejandro vilches actually held that um, lesson about conflict management for SLDP that one time since he was really real about his life examples and just really blunt and honest as to like if you want to change something like you have to do it right like you can't be stuck with your thinking because that's really flawed that's why you have to like really broaden perspective and so when he gave kind of an example of like okay like sit down and think about what ticks you off and then he was like okay now tell yourself what do you do when, when those situations happen and most of the time, it's impulse. I've learned to like think before you actually do something. And most people would be like, oh, that's, that's kind of obvious. Like, that's what everyone should do. But if you think about it in every situation, you always act on impulse most of the time. You go back to your habits of how you always cope with certain situations. So like say, for example, I'm experiencing my family arguing again. And like how I realize, oh wow, like every time that happens, I go to the same like thing I do every time, which is I like to walk away. I just like go to my room and just not hear anything at all. Um, but then he's like, okay, now put yourself back in a situation and think, what could you do, you know, to change that kind of thought? You had to recognize every time you're facing that situation so that you can control it. More like self-awareness and social awareness. And I think after trying to practice that over and over, even though it was really hard, like honestly, it's super hard to break a habit, I became more resilient in a way and more of like put things into action versus like keeping things like inside so that there's progress. That's something that SLDP actually pushes you to do. It's not lecture. It's more of like, here's the things that you can do, not try it. And that's what I did and that's why I liked it so much. There's a lot of different things you could do on like this campus to like help. But I know like for myself, being the freshman I was, that was totally lost. And I honestly did this on a whim. Uh, it really is true when people say it's like a hidden gem or a hidden treasure, like the Center for Leadership Learning. Cause it's not really the most known thing. But to be honest, what it contains is so much potential. Cause you can think you already have potential, but to be honest, it's just a thought until you put it into practice or at least you, you do something about it too. So like, why not like try one of these programs as a start? It doesn't hurt to try, yeah.